Praise the Lord. It's time for praise and worship. And I'm excited. I guess you are too. But before we do that, can we say our prayers? We are praying. We are praying. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Say your prayer. Mighty Father, we say thank you, O oh God, for bringing us to church today. Father, we are forever grateful. Loving us, we praise and worship you today. We ask that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. Help us to praise you as we ought to in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I can't hear you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Are you ready? I need everybody to get up and praise the Lord.
unstoppable. What can't you do, Jesus?
Let's begin to say thank you, Lord, for all that he has done for us. I want to hear you praying. Let's thank God for his mercy. Let's thank God for bringing us here. Let's thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Let's thank God for mommy and daddy. Let's thank God for our friends and neighbors around us. Let's say, God, thank you. I'm not hearing your prayers. I need you to pray and pray to the Father. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us. Thank you, Lord, for enabling us to praise and worship you. Mighty Father, we are grateful. Lord, even as we go back to study, we ask that you, you help us to understand all that we are going to learn in the name of Jesus. We cover our teachers the blood of Jesus. We cover our lives the blood of Jesus. We ask that you give us wisdom and understanding in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hello children, good morning. How are we all doing today? I can see you look so beautiful. You know Auntie Gemma can see you. So sit down quietly. Don't be distracted. You know, eliminate every single distraction. Don't be distracted. We're here to learn today. So do we have our five items? We all remember our five items. Your notebook, your pencil or your pen, your fresh fire, your fresh fire, your Bible, and your offering. So check, is it complete? Fantastic. Today's topic is on page 35. So open to page 35. We'll be dealing with page 35 to page 38. Chat with God, the Jesus example. You all remember we've done the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Hold it there. We're coming back there very soon. Because I'm going to check if you all know your Lord's Prayer. You were told to go and learn it, so I'm sure everybody has learned it by now. Today is the Jesus example. Yay! Jesus example! Do you know Jesus prayed? Who doesn't know Jesus prayed? Well, Jesus prayed, and he prayed, and he prayed, and he prayed. So we're going to learn from him. You know why he's the best person to learn from? I'll give you an example. Every day when you want to learn something new, who do you learn from at home? Mommies and daddies. So you learn from someone that you can get something from, right? That person is an example to you. Same thing with Jesus. We're going to learn from Jesus. So Jesus prayed so that we learn how to pray. That's how we know the Lord's Prayer. Because Jesus did it first. So we're going to learn from Jesus. Because Jesus wants us to talk to God. Jesus wants us to learn from God. Jesus wants us to be like Him. Jesus wants us to know more about Him. So today we're going to learn from Jesus how to pray. When and how did Jesus pray? Two ways. Firstly, Jesus went alone by himself to talk to God. Who hasn't done their prayer mat? Today we're going to know those who don't have their prayer mat at home. Because I expect that everybody has their prayer mat. I mean everybody should have their prayer mat. You remember this is Auntie Choma's prayer mat. So your prayer mat is that paper where you draw something really beautiful and you talk to Jesus. You put it by your bedside. Remember, remember? Do we all remember? I'm sure we all do. So you talk to Jesus, you put it on the floor by your bed, you kneel down and you say your prayers, you speak to him in any way and about anything. Remember, anything. And how many times are you supposed to use your prayer mat? Once twice a week, once a month. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, if you want to grow. So that means every day. So if you haven't done your math, tell mommy, tell daddy to get you a piece of paper Get you a pencil, get you colors, paint the most beautiful things you know that describe the beauty of God. Have it by your bedside, kneel on it, and pray. So Jesus had his alone time with God. 
Open your Bibles to the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35. Early the next morning, Jesus woke and left the house while it was still dark. He went to a place to be alone and pray. To be what? Alone. And to do what? To pray. Early when? In the morning. What does that tell you? You have to pray every morning. When you wake up, I know we have devotions, right? With mommy, with daddy, in the house. But you should also have your alone time with God. Just go quietly alone early in the morning and talk to God about anything. Anything. Don't be shy. Whatever it is you want to say, say it to God. He's always willing to listen. He's your father. So, Jesus was showing us that when God gives you a task, you must go to God and find out how he wants you to do the task. Let's say you have a chore at home. Maybe you're told, um, go and water the garden. Go and water the plants. And you don't know which bucket to use. Who do you go to? You go back to the person who sent you, mommy or daddy, right? And then they give you water. Say, go water the plants. And you go to water the plants, right? You take them with you. And when you get there, you're tired. What do you do? You go back to mommy and daddy and they give you food that has so many nutrients, those delicious meals that you like. Mention some meals you like. Right, I can hear you. Chicken, pizza, ice cream. Oh, my children are amazing. So you go to mommy, you go to daddy, they give you, you get energy and you take the water and you water the plants. The same thing with God. When God gives you a task, he gives you the strength to do that task. Awesome, right? God gives us power because all power belongs to him. Now let's go to page 36 before we come back to 35. Can we all see this in your fresh fire on page 36? If you can't see it, you need to get your fresh fire. I'm sure we all have our fresh fire. But if you don't have your fresh fire, please tell me to come to church office and get you a copy of the first fire or a banner supermarket at Chevron. You get your copy because we need to have our first fire this period. We always need to have it because we must read it. Now, you check on page 36 where Jesus was kneeling down alone to pray. Paint it. Put lovely colors. Paint the tree. Paint the leaves. Paint Jesus. And I'm coming to check it because I might just appear in anybody's house. And I will ask for your fresh fire. And I want to see how well you painted page 36. So make sure it's as colorful and as beautiful as ever. The second way Jesus prayed, he prayed with his friends. Who can think of their friends that they like to play, you know, play with and pray with. Good and godly friends that you can pray with, you can talk to God with. Fantastic, fantastic, good. So... The same way you pray with your friends, that is how Jesus prays with his friends. And who are his friends? You and I. We are all Jesus' friends. But in the Bible, we see that Jesus prayed with his disciples. They were his friends. So we should have friends that we pray with. When we pray with our friends, great things happen. Can you think of any of your friends that you like to play with? and pray with good and godly friends that you can pray with good you see that friend god likes us to have such friends now friends here can be mommy daddy your brothers your sisters your family you know your cousins and all that grandma grandpa everybody that is your family and your friends so we see that Jesus prayed with his friends. Who are Jesus' friends? You and I. We are all Jesus' friends. You remember the song? I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Sing with me. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. So we are all Jesus' friends. But here we see that Jesus prayed with his disciples. His disciples were also his friends. Now, like we say, when you pray with your friends, great things 
happen. Let's open our Bibles to Matthew 18, 19. Also, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about something, then you can pray for it. And the thing you ask for will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Amazing, right? We'll take you through an illustration now. Let's say you represent this cup of water. Can we see it? It's clear. There is no dirt. There is nothing in it. And let's say this is your friend. Your friend represents this spoon of milo. Now, when you put the milo inside the water, does it look like it's something you want to drink? Just milo on the top, water at the bottom. But when God comes in, God will stir your prayer and your friend's prayer together. And then when God stirs it, it becomes a delicious cup of tea. So when you pray with your friends and you bring God into your lives together, where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. So when you pray with your friends, God will stir you all up, turn it around, mix it together, and it becomes something delicious and something amazing. And you can move mountains, you can do great things, you can be who you want to be. Some people there want to be, let me hear it, let me hear it, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be anything. Together, you pray and you become anything you set your mind to. Okay? Good. So, remember what we learned today. We pray alone in your quiet corner every morning with your prayer mat, which you're meant to do. Mommies, daddies, please check that they make their prayer mats. You pray on it alone. And the second one is what? You pray with your friends. Good! I see we're all paying attention. So when you want God to swing into action, you pray, you pray, and you pray. Pray yourself. Pray with your friends. What is prayer? Do we remember? Who knows it? What is prayer? What is prayer? Prayer is talking to God. Wonderful! Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. That was awesome. So prayer is talking to God in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Fantastic. So let's turn to page 36. Remember we're supposed to paint when Jesus was praying alone. If you look at page 36 again, you'll see Jesus praying with his friends. So you paint Jesus praying alone and you also paint Jesus praying with his friends. So everybody now, I want you to all stand up. Don't be distracted. Are we all up? Come on, get up. I see you. Stand up. Good. Put your hand on your chest. And we're going to say some life applications. So when I say it, you repeat it after me. Say Jesus prayed and so must I. Good. Praying brings me close to God's heart. Good. And then say praying gives me power. Good. So let's take it again. Jesus prayed and so must I. Good. Praying brings me close to God's heart. Good. Praying gives me power. Good. So we'll take it again. Jesus prayed and so must I. Praying brings me close to God's heart. Praying gives me power. For yourselves clap for yourselves that was awesome now you can sit down sit down quietly don't move the chairs around just sit quietly good good oh fantastic now remember when we talked about the lord's prayer if you go to page 37 you see the lord's prayer can we go to page 37 who isn't there who isn't there okay we're all there fantastic my name is put your name there don't do it now. Stop looking for your pencils. Stop it. Stop it. It's there, but 
leave it alone i'm just telling you what you're going to do it's an assignment i'll be asking you like i said i may just pop into one or two people's homes and just check if you've done your assignments if your prayer mat is ready and if you've done page 37 and page 38 so it says my name is you put it the lord's prayer our father which art in you fill it out hallowed be thy fill it out Thy dash come, fill it out. Thy will be done on, fill it out. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily, what should be there. Forgive us our debts as we, fill it in, our debtors. And lead us not into, I know you want to say it, but just calm down and listen to Auntie Choma. But deliver us from, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So turn to page 38. We just told you prayer is talking to God in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a maze. I want you to move with the maze and get to God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember to color it. Color. Make sure and make sure it's beautiful. I don't want you coloring out of the box. Color inside the box. Let it be as beautiful as possible. Remember, God likes order. So when you color, make sure that it's very orderly. Okay? Good. So now we're going to learn our memory verse. Somebody there wants to tell me what they've learned today. You will tell me. Or better still, you will tell mommy, you will tell daddy, you will tell your teachers there, you will tell your aunties, whoever is there. You have to tell them what you've learned today because you must learn a lot of things. Now, the memory verse is Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Our memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Good! And it says, do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. Let's take it again. Our memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. And it says, do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything that you need. Good. Put your hands together for yourselves. Good. So today's prayer is a song. Are we ready to sing? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't distract me. I want to sing to the Lord. So you say, prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. It's easy, isn't it? So we're going to take it together. Everybody, one, two, go. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and he ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. One more time. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. Whoa. Put your hands together for Jesus. That's not loud enough. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Whoa. That's good. So always remember that song because prayer is the master key. I hope you're all being good boys and good girls at home. I hope you're helping mommy. I hope you're helping daddy. You're doing your chores. And I hope your hygiene is fantastic. You know the laws. Wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds. So when you're washing, you sing, wash, 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 I am clean, clean, clean. Wash my hands, wash my hands, clean, clean, clean. So you 
wash your hands very clean use your sanitizers and when you want to cough don't cough like this <laughs> cough like this <sighs> remember don't touch places if you go anywhere don't put your hands on staircases don't put your hands on railings you have to always be clean and always be neat wash your hands use your sanitizers cough in your elbow do not cough in your hands and don't go touching dirty things see you all next week and have an amazing week full of blessings and remember do your assignments i just might pop in see you all next week bye